These are the glitchiest plays in Madden 23. Psych! Whether you want an unstoppable trick run play, a pass play that always gets open for easy yards, Thank you. or maybe just want a play that will blow your opponent's minds. What the hell is that? If you want to see the funnest and most overpowered trick plays in Madden 23, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you several hard to stop trick plays from several different playbooks, but I'm going to start off with probably the glitchiest trick play playbook in Madden 23, and that is the Baltimore Ravens. I just dropped a brand new offensive ebook on my website, Patreon, and my Join Now community tab. So if you guys want to see more from this offense, just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment to instantly download the full ebook to your phone or laptop or have it sent to the email if you're choosing. I also want to take a second to thank everyone who supports the channel in this way, as it really helps to grow the channel. So thank Thanks for supporting us. Other than that, if you want to see more fun videos like this, remember to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I already put out a video like this about rare glitch routes hidden in Madden 23. If you want to see that, I'll have a link in the description as well as a pop-up on the screen at the end of the video. The first play I'm going to show you guys today is a run play out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. The formation is called the gun wing slot, which can be found in lots of playbooks, but the play that I'm going to show you can only be found in the Ravens, and that is the buck sweep read option. This is a play I put out last year as it really can be one of the best run plays in the game if you have a fast quarterback like Lamar Jackson. There's really two different ways to run this play, either handing it off to the running back and sprinting Y by holding the A or X button, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation, or hitting nothing, keeping it with the quarterback and sprinting Y in the complete opposite direction. That's what makes this play so good, as most read option plays really only give you the option to take a handoff right up the middle, like a dive or an inside zone, with the option of going outside with the quarterback. While this play allows you to tack wide in both directions, giving you two options for explosive run plays that will be very difficult for your opponent to to stop. To run this play most effectively, first you want to look to see if you have outside leverage on the two tight end side. If you are in man coverage, you will most likely see nothing but running room outside in this direction as the cornerbacks will usually be on the other side matching the two wide receivers. This is a clear opportunity to hand it off for a big game. The second read is to watch the read defender, who you can see by holding the left trigger or the L2 button as it will have an R above his head. If he is aggressive, comes forward and attacks the handoff, keep the ball with the quarterback as there will usually be no one out here to defend the quarterback run. If he is passive and drops back, you will have to hand it off to the running back as otherwise he'll be waiting for the quarterback. The next play is also in the Ravens playbook as well as the run and gun. The formation is the pistol strong and the play itself is the power option. To run this play, once again, look for whatever side you have outside leverage, pre-snap, which is either side your tight end or your tackle is wider than your opponent's widest box defender. You can flip this play with the right stick in either direction you think gives you the biggest advantage and you can motion across either the tight end full back or wide receiver to try to create this advantage. Once the play starts, you will once again have to watch the read defender, only this time you'll be watching what he does to decide whether to make the pitch. If he crashes in on the quarterback, you can hit the left bumper or L1 button to pitch the ball out to the running back. If the defender doesn't commit and drops back waiting for the pitch, you must keep it with the quarterback, as otherwise he will play the pitch running back. This play is most explosive when you pitch it, however. If you do it right, you will see the pitch can travel 10 to 15 yards in the air, creating instant running space for the running back. If the defender is playing aggressively once again, it's best to keep it with the quarterback until the defender essentially tackles the quarterback. You'll still get the pitch out most times, and it will ensure that the defender will not be able to move on to the running back. The next play is another run play that is only found in the Ravens playbook and it's a run play that your opponent will never expect. The formation is a rare five wide receiver formation that is the only formation in the game that has four wide receivers on the same side of the field. This formation has a lot of glitchy pass plays but my favorite play is the QB blast. Due to all the wide receivers on the field the only way reliably to cover the pass plays is usually to have smaller fast defenses either coming out in formations with large gaps in the line of scrimmage or defenses that have no second level defender due to the fact that the formation spreads the defense so far apart. If your opponent comes out in any of these types of defenses, just switch to the QB Blast and you will find huge run lanes that result in easy gains on the ground. You can flip this play with the right stick to aim to either side that has a bigger gap or whichever side doesn't have a second level defender on it. If your opponent tries to shore up the middle, you will find easy space to run your passing plays outside, putting your opponent in a no-win situation. This play is especially deadly against man coverage, which is the meta as the wide receiver 
will typically pull back any cornerbacks in front of them. The next play I am definitely going to be making gameplays out of as it is one of my favorite glitches in the game and surprisingly was never patched despite me making multiple videos about it last year. I will have a link in the description for that gameplay if you guys want to check that out. The formation is the pistol week and the play is the PA comebacks. You want to make sure you substitute a fast pass catching running back at the fullback position as this is technically a pass play even though it will look and feel like a run play. The route that I'm going to focus on is a simple check and release route into the flat but if you cancel the play action by hitting the R2 or the right trigger and passing the ball while your quarterback's back is turned, he will instead do a pitch or a shovel pass. Aside from looking way cooler and showing your opponent an animation that he probably has never seen and probably couldn't do on his own, the running back also doesn't stop to catch the ball or lose acceleration. In fact, it feels like he gains acceleration and you will end up getting much bigger catch and runs from this. The pitch only gets open against zones though, but the three other receivers on the field can get open against man, especially if you put the beat or circle route on a drag to give yourself a check down. I find that motioning across either the tight end or the receiver and putting them on a streak or a drag can pull zone coverages back away from the pitch as well. Motioning the tight end across and streaking the X or square route while making the same drag adjustment probably gives you the best secondary passing concepts as both the tight end and the drag routes beat man and zone. Next up, we're finally going to leave the Ravens playbook for another play that I put out last year, and it may be even better this year. The next play is only found in the Bills and Giants playbook. The formation is the pistol open flex close, and the play is the RPO read flat wheel. This is another video that I made a gameplay about last year. I have a link in the description for this as well. This play is all about the motion route the receiver is doing. Last year, it only worked against zone, but this year, as long as the man defender is trailing when he crosses the field pre-snap, he will instantly get open against any man or zone as well. As as long as you throw it right away, bullet and pass lead away outside from the defender. This play can get anything from a small gain in the flats, which can be super helpful in the red zone. If the receiver that's on the same side can turn to a blocker fast enough, you'll see that he can really bust this guy loose for some big gains. So make sure you have your fastest receiver at this spot. You can also throw to the tight end now against zone, which is a good second option. And you can also hand it off to the running back by holding air X if your opponent starts to focus too much on the wheel route. The next play is another RPO and can only be found in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. The formation is the gun open flex and the play is the RPO read Y flat. This play here is all about the tight end so make sure you put your fastest tight end in that spot. The tight end on this play is really a screenplay that only works against zone coverage. All you have to do is throw it instantly and you will see that you have an easy catch and run against any zone coverage. You can motion the tight end out, although I don't feel it necessarily helps, but it's something that I have seen other people do and run it this way. This route doesn't beat man, but the slant route does, and you also have the option to keep it with the running back if your opponent is once again too preoccupied with the screenplay. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more from any of these offenses in the future, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I already made a video about rare glitch routes that break the game hidden Madden 23. So if you guys want to see that, just click the link on the screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below